Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this interesting trigonometric identity and we are going to prove it. So let's look at this identity we got on the left hand side square root of 1 plus sine theta divided by 1 minus sine theta and then equal to secant theta plus tangent theta. So let's go ahead and get started with the proof. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on the left hand side of this equation. This part, let me just write down, we are going to focus on the left hand side. And here I have copied it down on the left hand side as you can see. And now we are going to manipulate this left hand side in a such a way that we are going to prove that this is equal to the right hand side. Now let's focus on inside this radical, this radicand. And here I have copied it down as you can see on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and manipulate this one so we can uh, simplify it. And now let's go ahead and simplify this fraction by rationalizing it. Rationalizing simply means whatever we got at the denominator we just change this sign to positive sign. So I am going to multiply by 1 plus sine theta and at the same time I am going to divide by 1 plus sine theta as well. Now let's go ahead and multiply them on the top these terms and likewise we are going to multiply at the denominator as well. And now we can see on the numerator 1 plus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta is going to be simply 1 plus sine theta whole square divided by and in the denominator we got this 1 minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta therefore we are going to use this well-known rule so this could be written as 1 square minus sine square theta. So this could be written as 1 plus sine theta square on the top is going to stay same divided by 1 square is same as 1 minus sine square theta. And now let's recall this very famous trigonometric identity sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals to 1. You have to remember it all the time. Let's go ahead and move this sine square theta on the right hand side. So we got cosine square theta equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So that means I can replace 1 minus sine square theta by simply cosine square theta. So this could be written as simply 1 plus sine theta and then a whole square divided by, I am going to replace this one by cosine square theta. And here in the next step this denominator cosine square theta could be written as cosine of theta power 2. They are same thing. So therefore I can write this whole thing as 1 plus sine theta on the top divided by cosine of theta and then whole power 2. Let's revert back to our this left hand side this part and let's focus once again inside this square root this radical part and we know that we have just started off with this same thing and we simplify to this one. So I am going to replace this one by simply square root of 1 plus sine theta divided by cosine of theta and then square. And now we can see that this square and this square root they undo each other. So we simply ended up with 1 plus sine theta on the top and cosine theta at the denominator. 
And now this fraction could be written as 1 divided by cosine of theta plus sine theta divided by cosine of theta by using this well-known fact. And here on the right hand side we have this table for trigonometric identities. We know that 1 over cosine theta equal to secant theta. So that means this 1 over cosine theta I can set it equal to secant theta and then plus the sine theta over cosine theta is same as tangent theta. So I can write this one equal to tangent theta and this is our right hand side as you can see over here. So thus we have proven that the left hand side is indeed equal to right hand side. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.